Okay, Ken, I switched radios on you. Uh, Ranger came out with a Superstar 158 FB4. It's the same radio as the EDX. Okay, same face, everything. All the controls are the same. But this one comes with an amp section. All right. So we're going to convert that amp section over to Toshiba's for you. And I'm going to do my tricks to it. And uh, there we go. Just makes life a little simpler. Because I noticed after I finished your 158 that you had another order. When was it? January, I think. January, February. An add-on order for your 158 that you bought last year. Sorry, it's taken so long to get to it. Uh, for an amp section where I'm, I was supposed to add an amp section to it so I started to do that and then I remembered uh, I've got some of these uh, 158 FB4s left so I nabbed one of those I'm currently doing the uh, less common enhancements on it just like I did on the uh, EDX and uh, then I'll get busy on the amp section okay all right more to come Okay, got the fans, board, everything all put together. Uh, I've got to take the, the boards come with these in them. This this assembly comes with these in them. So I've got to take these out. These are DEIs. You wanted uh, Toshiba's in there. So fun, fun. Okay, got those junk DEIs out of there. Got your Toshiba's in here. Oh, getting ready to put the feedback boards back in place there. Okay. More to come. All right, feedback boards are in. Getting ready to hook it up to the radio. More to come. Okay, less come enhancements are done. That's this guy and this guy. You noticed I got them laying over because that amp section sits in here. And there's not enough room for them to stand up but they are 3300 microfarad caps okay there's your new rf uh first rf amp replacement i replaced it with a 29.99 there's your 10.7 am fm if filter upgrade uh, upgraded from a 25 kilohertz to well let's see this one this one went to a 20 because this radio has fm if I go to a 15 kilohertz wide filter on FM, your FM sounds weak to the other station. So this is a 20 kilohertz wide versus a 25. I have to do that on the FM radios. I'm getting ready now to change these out to the FQP 13 in 10s for you. All right, more to come. Okay, got your FQP 13 in 10s in this one. Let's see, I don't I ain't got very good light down in there. Let's shine the light on things. Okay. Three brand new FQP 13 N10s. And again, I'll throw the spare in with it. Okay. More to come. Okay. I uh, showed you that. I've set the bias on them. All that's ready to go. And since you've been such a good sport about everything, I have installed a high cut filter and also a, a switch to control the amp. Okay? So they will be on the back. The one closest to the heat sink is for the amp. Okay? That's off. The one away from the heat sink is for the high cut filter. Okay. All right. More to come. Okay. Again, I wanted to show you the alignment between modes. Uh, FM, AM, upper side band, lower side band. Okay. Now, it might help if I turn the camera around like this. I got the radio sitting upside down, but that's lower side, upper side. AM, FM. Okay. All right, buddy. Getting close.
Okay, got it all hooked back up. Getting ready to put the lid on it. But I thought you might like to see it all together. Okay. Now I'm going to tidy these, these wires up here before I close it up. I've already done everything. It looks like I need to put another one right there. But uh, almost finished. And we got to do the 24 hour burn in. Want to make sure it works when you get it. Okay, more to come. All right, let's do a little RF testing here. I'm on, well, let's see, let's go to AM. Okay, they, both meters have 1,000 watt slugs in them. Okay. Both the RMS meter and the uh, peak meter. Okay. I'm on AM, we're dead keying about 175 watts. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little over a thousand. PEP. Okay, I'm going to switch the lower side bend now. What's that RMS meter? Audio. Audio. Or is that about 550, 575 RMS? Hello, audio. About 900 peak. That's on side man. Okay. All right. And see, I can turn the amplifier off. Hello, audio. Audio one two one two audio. With the amplifier turned off, you just got a regular radio, all right? And here is high cut. You can't hear that. High cut on, high cut off. On, off. Okay? Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Turn the amp back on. Still on the lower side bend. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Okay. Audio. Audio. About 900 watts, 950, somewhere around that on sideband. Okay. All right. Uh, like I said, Ken, we gotta hook it up and let it run for 24 hours, and then we'll be done. Okay. Should be finished up probably. I'd say Sunday or maybe Monday, uh, which means it'd probably ship out uh, Tuesday. Okay. All right. More to come. Okay, Ken. There she is, buddy. Passed the burn in test with flying colors. Okay. Got her all put together. And. Uh, Thought I'd do some more power checks. This radio has an RF power control on the front. The 158EDX did not. It had a, an echo control up here. This one has talkback and RF power in place of the echo control. Now, uh, the echo is just a push button. Just push that and uh, you're in echo mode. Echo's preset and they're on the board. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, I wanted to verify, but the talkback used to be there on the, the EDX. I looked at the face of another one. Uh, you could either turn talkback on or turn talkback off. It was preset. Folks didn't like that. So they put talkback on a knob. Also, folks wanted an RF power control. Well, of course, you got an amplifier. You want to be able to control the output power. Well, the other day when we were testing... I had the RF power set right there because I didn't realize that it was RF power. All right, 
Now we're going to do RF power checks with power turned all the way up. And let's see what have we got here. I got junk in the way. Oh, hang on just a second. There's your your uh, transistors, all the originals that came out of this one. And of course, here's your spare. These will be in the box with the radio. Okay, I am on lower side band. And let's see. Here we go. Still got, uh, well, actually, I've got 1,000 watt slugs back in there for this radio. Meter on the left is RMS. Meter on the right is peak. <clears throat> peak envelope power. Okay, I'm on the times one position on the multiplier. And lower side band, channel 35. Got RF power turned all the way up. I am transmitting into a dummy load. Audio. Hello, audio. About 650 watts RMS and a little over a thousand peak. That's on lower side band. I'm going to go to AM. And we're dead keying almost 400 amp or 400 watts. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio, audio, hello. Now, you saw that thing back up. So what I suggest you do is turn it down to about 200 watts. Audio, audio. See, it goes forward at 200 watts. Audio. And we get a little bit over a thousand output. Okay. Now, that's with RF power set at about 9 o'clock. It'll give you about 200 watts out. RMS. And you can even turn it down further than that. You can turn it all the way down to about 75 watts. Audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio, one, two, one, two, audio. And you still get full swing out of it. That's what I love about these radios. And you can hear the little fans spin up inside of it. Keep the unit cool. Uh, you might want to think about maybe later getting a fan kit for it. One of the big fans where I actually punch a hole in the bottom and put it in there. It does have the high speed fans internally. I'm sure you can hear them. But there it is. Okay, right there. That's all the way down for the power, output power. And like I said, we're getting about 75 watts. That first little tick mark there is 100. Audio. See, it swings up a little over 100. Audio. Audio. That's over 1,000 peak envelope power output. That was on AM. Let's see what it does on sideband with RF power turned all the way down. Hello, audio. Audio, hello, audio. So about 400 watts RMS and almost 600 peak with it turned all the way down. Okay. On sideband, of course, on sideband, if you ain't talking, you don't have anything coming out. I'm using just a regular old stock microphone. But, you know, I don't run the RF power any higher than what you need to to make a contact. Okay, guys, that's that's uh, simple logic. Prolong the life of your amplifier and radio. Don't uh, don't run it any higher than what you need to. Okay. All right, Ken. I sure hope you enjoy your new radio. It was my pleasure to set it up for you. It's a nice radio. Seven three, everybody.